morning. My name is Minister Trey Smith and I am so excited that you are here to join us this morning. We are expecting a great worship service and we're excited that you are here with us to experience it. Let us go into prayer. Father, we love you, we thank you, and we honor you on this morning, oh God. We are expecting great things from you, oh God, as we worship you, as we honor you, as we love on you this morning, oh God. Father, we ask that the, uh, that the, the, the prayers and the music and the songs and the word that goes forth brings food to our soul, oh God, that we are revived in you, that we are rejuvenated by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For one more day, we say thank you, Lord. For your goodness and your grace, we say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your keeping power, we say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For choosing me, I say thank you, Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Glorify your name, oh God. Thank you, Lord.
He's my strong tower, so I say hallelujah. He's my protection, so I say hallelujah. And he's been my provider, I say hallelujah. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you, Lord. Only you, only you, only you, God. Only you have kept me through all of this up until this appointed time. And I'm grateful today, Jesus. Hallelujah. You deserve all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. Thank you, God. My hallelujah belongs to you.
Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Deacon Doyle. We thank you all for your generous giving of your offering down through the years, even though we know we can't give in person, but we do thank you all for your contributions that you have been giving. I'm glad to be a part of this ministry, and right now we're here to do the same. You can look at the screen, it'll tell you what to do as far as your giving towards this ministry, and we pray that God will bless you in your giving as you give toward Him. In Jesus' name, we just thank you. Amen.
after you've done all you can do, after you've done all to stand, stand. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't let go. Stand. Bless your wonderful name. Father, we love you tonight. You've been so gracious to us. You have brought us from such a mighty long way. Oh, yes. We want to say thank you. Hallelujah. It hasn't been easy. It's been difficult. But I thank you. I thank you for giving us the courage to stand after we've done all to stand. We're yet standing, yet believing, yet confessing your ability to do all things. Asking now that you would bless us through your word. Send it with power and demonstration of your Holy Spirit. We need a word, God. Hallelujah. We need a word. Send it, Lord. Send your healing and deliverance. Send comfort and strength. Send your anointing that destroys every yoke. Bless us through your mighty word today, we ask in Jesus' name. Come on everywhere, everywhere, wherever you are. Say it with me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you today. I honor the Lord Jesus Christ, who certainly is the head of my life. And I'm so grateful to the Lord for allowing us to come together again. Although it is virtually, the Lord has enabled us still to come together as his people. To worship and to worship wherever we are, whether it's here in the temple, whether it's in your car, in the office, in your living room, wherever you are. It's time to have church, time to worship and give God glory, time to hear a word from the Lord. Turn with me, won't you, in the book of Psalms, familiar passage, Psalm number 34. One verse today I want to raise, and that's verse number six. Psalm number 34, verse Number six. It sounds like this. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word and sanctified in our hearts. That we may grow there by. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. I want to use briefly as a subject today, I prayed and God did it for me. I prayed and God did it for me. Come on, say it with me. Even put it in the comment section. I prayed and God did it for me. My mission today is to both proclaim and to participate. Proclaim the word of the Lord to those who have been earnestly praying. Certainly not too long ago, we've come out of a 21-day fast. We were laying on our faces, believing God, touching and agreeing as his children, and reaching the throne of God, calling on his name, believing and knowing that he is able to do all the things. I've come to proclaim a word to you and to share with you the words that Paul speaks to us. He says it like this, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it shall be yours. Paul speaks and says, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and Petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. I believe that because we serve a God who was able to do all things, He has the ability to move, to heal, to open doors that no man can shut. Hallelujah. He can make ways out of no way, put a door where there is no door. And I want you to remember. 
hallelujah, that our God is a prayer answering God. So that brings me to the other portion of the mission that I've been given on today, and that is to participate. We are going to participate in a celebration, and the celebration that comes just from knowing that God heard our prayer. Hallelujah. Lift your hands wherever you are today and just say, God heard me. Yes, joy should spring up in your soul even now just by knowing he, he heard you. He heard our cry. He heard our plea. I believe this is what John was alluding to where he says this is the confidence that we have. Hallelujah. That he has heard us. And if we know that he has heard us, then rest assured, and I'm paraphrasing, we already have the petition that we have laid before him. Just lift your hands no matter where you are and say, I'm so glad he heard my cry. Yes, the saints of God have been praying and we continue to pray. Continue to have a little talk with Jesus because we know he'll make everything all right. Continue to lean on the horns of the altar, knowing that no one else can do what he can do. No one else can bless like he can bless. He's God after all, and above him there is no other. We have read out of the 34th Psalm. The superscription on this particular song tells us that it was written by David when the Philistines seized him in Gath. Remember, hallelujah, that it was in Gath that David would slay Goliath in the battle of the Valley of Elah. For around 40 years, this giant terrified Israel trying to pressure them into giving up and forsaking the God, hallelujah, their salvation, trying to discourage and make them feel like the God of Israel was not truly a God worth serving. Hallelujah. He would terrify them. He would threaten them. And here again, uh, in the life of David, He's yet threatening Israel yet one more time. Here, this young Hebrew boy, God would use to slay this giant. He was 15 years old. You remember when Samuel would anoint him king of Israel. Not too long after this, David would have the challenge of facing Goliath. He had already been anointed. Somebody needs to know you can't get in the fight if you have no anointing on your life. He would pick up at a brook. He would pick up five smooth stones. And with one stone, he would slay Goliath. Take off his head and, hallelujah, and take his sword. David would receive this triumph, but uh, his victory would stir resentment in the heart and mind of Saul. After this, it would be Saul's, it would seem he would feel it was his duty to destroy the servant of the Lord, David. He was angry and jealous of the anointing that was in David's life. And from then on, he would conspire. He would try to set David up. He would put him in situations where he would hope and know, feel as though David would never come out of this situation. Hallelujah. But I told you he had already been anointed. And when you are God's anointed, it doesn't matter what the enemy tries to do against you. You shall prevail. I hear the word of the Lord say, the anointing destroys the yoke. But you can be sure that the people of Gath 
after this victory that David had won over Goliath, they were longing to set their hands upon this enemy. It would turn out, though, that it would be in Gath that David would return, fearing and thinking that Saul in his own slot would never think, hallelujah, to look for me in the land of the Philistines. He had already hidden his parents, and he's hiding now among the children of Gath. Achish. But when uh, they discover who David is, hallelujah, they are determined uh, to destroy their enemy's life. And you remember the story? Hallelujah. The Bible says that David begins to act as though he's insane. And uh, he does such a good job uh, of behaving like a crazy man uh, until they throw him uh, out of gaff. Now he runs to a place, hallelujah, found in the wilderness of Ezel that's called Adalem. He's in this cave, hallelujah. In the beginning, he's by himself. And Adalem, the term Adalem means a testimony to them. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you may feel like you're, you're all by yourself. And it's a dark place. It's a, it's a place and you really may not like where you are right now. But I hear the Lord say it's going to be a testimony to those who are watching your life. Hallelujah. You may be there now, but God has a plan to bring you out. Hallelujah. Who needs to hear this this morning? If I'm talking to you, put it in the comment section. God has a plan to bring me out. He's waiting in hiding according to what Samuel writes in his book. And over, hallelujah, 600 men now have accumulated themselves in the darkness of the cave. But now the cave has been converted into a cathedral hallelujah you would think because of where they were there would be no one singing no one praising you would think because of the circumstance hallelujah that David would have kept his mouth shut hallelujah with the mindset that I'll never sing again but he begins to sing in the the darkness of uh, the cave and he he literally turns the cave into a cathedral he turns uh, the atmosphere he turns the room in uh, to a sanctuary you may not like where you are but uh, I hear God say turn it into a sanctuary you you may not like uh, what's going on in your environment but I hear God say turn it uh, in to a place of worship he, he begins to sing I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth uh, hallelujah he writes it uh, as an acrostic which means uh, and understand that whenever uh, a song is written in the Hebrew uh, I will Barak Adonai he, he's writing in the original uh, hallelujah language and uh, he's writing acrostically which means every verse uh, begins with a different letter of the Hebrew alphabet and uh, understanding the history yeah. in those days books were scarce and an acrostic was a way of aiding a person in remembering uh, David said I want everybody to remember uh, hallelujah I don't want to forget uh, where God has brought me from uh, I want you to remember the past I, I want you to remember what the Lord has done. I, I want us to remember how he made a way. I want you to remember how he kept us. 
I want you to remember how he gave us the victory. I want you to remember. I'll never forget. Hallelujah. Look around in your room and tell somebody, I'll never forget. If you're by yourself, tell yourself, I'll never forget. He begins to write the song. He, hallelujah. He sings about the goodness of his God. Hallelujah. Some years have passed since, hallelujah, he's first been anointed. And some theologians say it was, he was between 15 and 19 when he slays Goliath. But now, hallelujah, during his journey, he finds himself in a cave praising the God of his salvation. The first ten verses, we, we consider it to be a hymn. But the next twelve verses, uh, we consider it to be a sermon. He's, uh, he's delivering the word to those who have uh, accumulated themselves uh, in the cave. Uh, the beginning of the song, uh, he's in devotion. He's, uh, hallelujah, he's praising, he's worshiping. Oh, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. But the movement into the second part of the song, he gets doctrinal. He's, uh, he's teaching the will and mind of God, how God did it. And uh, hallelujah, he says, uh, and he brings us to a place where you can actually see the grace of God hallelujah God's grace hallelujah I was in it and I don't know how I made it this far hallelujah but I'm going to celebrate the goodness of my God I'm here because he brought me here I'm alive because he, he kept me alive and, and if I have to praise him all by myself I will bless the Lord and I'm going to do it at all times I'm, I refuse to allow the situation to dictate to me the fervency of my praise some of y'all some of y'all can, can only praise him in a good place hallelujah but you got to learn how to praise him even when you feel like you're in a bad place turn it around and praise him anyway turn it around and I don't like where, where I am and how I feel but I, I'm gonna praise him in this place uh, but by the time we get to the second part of this piece of music hallelujah God is setting things in order I don't know who needs to hear this hallelujah I don't care how bad it looks God said I'm going to put things in order I'm, I'm going to straighten some things out oh yes I am you just wait when I, I'm going to straighten it out they're fighting you now but I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to fix the mess I'm going to correct the situation I feel a praise right there put your hands together and give the Lord some praise he's in the cave hallelujah and by this time there are others who, are, who have accumulated themselves there my soul shall make a boast in the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad he invites them to church and says come on and magnify him with me and while uh, they're celebrating and while uh, he's worshiping uh, I believe God uh, brings some things to David's uh, remembrance hallelujah because while he's worshiping and he's worshiping in the midst of the situation and while Saul 
soul is searching for him. Hallelujah. While the enemies have waged war against him, the hell hounds are barking in the woods and he's having chats in the cave, giving God glory, giving God praise. I believe something was going on in his mind. He must have been remembering what God had brought him out of, how God had kept him, and how God had watched over him. Perhaps he remembered when he said, the Lord delivered me out of the paws of a lion and of a bear and delivered me out of the hand of this Philistine. He must have remembered how he bent down towards the brook and picked the five stones I know some preachers say the five stones represented the letters in the name of Jesus but I hear in my spirit the first stone it represented faith hallelujah because without faith it's impossible to please God and we walk by faith faith and not by sight. It took faith to stand in front of Goliath. It took faith. Hallelujah. I'm small and ruddy and he's large and strong but I believe God. Hallelujah. Come on, say it with me. I believe God. And the second stone he picked up, it represents obedience. He was there because his father told him to go there, bring this food to your brothers. He was in the right place. Hallelujah. At the right time. And you say, feels. I don't understand it. He was facing a giant. They were all outnumbered. He could have been slaughtered. But I say still. He was at the right place. At the right time. Thank you, Lord. Somebody right now, you're in a crazy place. The battle seems like you can't win anyhow. But obey God and stand there. He didn't bring you there to die. Hallelujah. And the third stone, it represented service. Whatever you tell me to do, I'm going to do it. And wherever you tell me to go, Lord, that's where I'm going. And I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. Not in my own strength. I hear the word of the Lord say, not by power, nor by might, but it's by my spirit. Save the Lord. Thank you, Father. The false stone, I believe, represented prayer. I hear the word of God say, men ought always to pray and not faint. And I believe David had a prayer in his heart and he opened his mouth and said, you come to me with the sword and with the spear. And Lord, but I came in the name of the Lord of hosts. I hear the word of God say, and the name of the Lord. 
is a strong tower the righteous run therein and they are saved hallelujah he said my God is the God of the armies of Israel hallelujah my God is a mighty God my God is strong and mighty my God is a battle axe my God is great oh yes he is he said this day the Lord will deliver thee into my hand and I'm going to smite you I'm going to take your head off hallelujah and give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day to the fowls of the air and to the wild beast of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel raise your hand and say my God is a mighty God thank you Lord I hear it in my spirit so I'll say it again my God is a mighty God so here is David with all of this in his mind hallelujah singing I will bless the Lord at all times at all times at all times at his prayer shall make a boast in the Lord the humble shall hear their and be glad who oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together thank you Lord I can see David standing up in the cave saying let's have testimony service I want to testify she said I I I I sought the Lord and he heard me here thank you Lord and he delivered me here from all my fears thank you Jesus he remembered how they looked at him they wanted to kill him hey God and he says they looked under him and they were lighting in their faces and they were not ashamed I almost didn't make it through the last situation and here I am in another situation but I remember hallelujah that my God he's a prayer answering God he said I had to humble myself I had to go to God and humble myself that's why he said this poor man cried and the Lord heard him thank you Lord I cried and I cried until I found the Lord I cried in my troubles I cried in my sickness I cried in my dilemma and he heard me how many of 
y'all got that testimony put it in the comment section he heard me I'm so glad he heard my cry I'm so glad he heard me I'm so glad he heard my cry he said this poor man cried this one this one I can't testify for you you gotta testify for yourself he heard my cry hallelujah and he saved him out of all of his troubles thank you Lord David said I can't I can't leave here without dropping my testimony I want y'all to know that my God he answers prayer I prayed and God did it for me I cried and God did it for me I don't know how he did it but I got a praise in my spirit he did it he did it he did it hallelujah I needed healing and he did it for me I needed a door open and he did it for me I needed a way made and he did it for me put it in the comment section God did it God did it I prayed and God did it I hear you talking you say feels I've been praying and it hasn't happened yet I got a song for you to sing thanks don't stop praying for the Lord is now thanks don't stop praying he'll hear your cry for what the Lord has promised his word is true don't stop praying he'll answer he'll answer I know we're praising virtual but I need some folk to put it in the comment section so everybody can read it say I prayed and God did it for me and if God can do it for me I know I know he can do it for you hallelujah 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 I got up this morning to praise him thank you thank you for healing me thank you for turning it around thank you for making a way I'm gonna bless him always 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 oh God I prayed and God did it God did it for me hallelujah in the situation where surely there would be those who understood would have understood I should say if he had given up if, if he had turned around and said I don't want to do this anymore but God had already spoken the word over his life and said you're next I'm going to use you you've been anointed for purpose and somebody needs to hear these words whatever God said concerning you it must come to pass you can't die until what God says come to pass in your life there's an anointing in your life 
the yokes shall be destroyed enemies will be conquered just trust me obey my word believe me obey me serve me and don't stop praying call on my name ask me and I'll bless you the fifth stone represents the Holy Ghost <laughs> David didn't just have faith he was not only obedient he was not only the kind of individual that performed a service he not only prayed but the Spirit of the Lord was with him Lord don't let your spirit leave me keep me in your arms overshadow me always with your power I want to do your will I want to accomplish all that you said I would accomplish here I am father I'm in a bad situation but I've learned how to pray David gives his testimony and says I prayed <laughs> and God did it for me father I thank you for your word thank you for your encouragement thank you for your strengthening father I ask your continued blessings in the lives of your people knowing that you will fulfill all that you said you would fulfill in our lives. We cannot be fearful. We can't run from the fight, but stand. And we know that you will deliver. Because David said, this poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And delivered him out of all of his troubles. Everyone under the sound of my voice, touch them now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever you are, put those hands together and give the Lord Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. <laughs> bless your holy name thank you father hallelujah thank you bless your holy name Jesus I want to minister to those of you who need a touch from the Lord I want to establish an electronic prayer line you have a special need of prayer you have a special request of course you can send it to me, admin at grtdc.org, and we'll lay those requests on the altar as we pray during the week. But I want to pray for someone right now. It may be you, it may be someone in your family. Put the name in the comment section as we establish this electronic prayer line one by one, name by name, family by family. We know that God answers prayer. Oh yes. He'll give you the same testimony that David had. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his troubles. Put those names in the comment section. We'll give you time. One by one. Home by home. Situation by situation. Our God is able nothing too hard for him to do there's no depth that he cannot reach there's no height that he's not able to touch there's no sickness that he cannot heal my god is simply able keep those names coming we're getting ready to pray father in the name of your son jesus christ we are establishing this prayer line here we are in worship. We are doing it virtually, sitting in our homes and cars. 
But although we're not in your house, we can feel you in our house. <laughs> feel you right there in the car, in the office. We have a need of prayer. There's a situation that we need to bring to your attention. Hasha. And you're the only one that can do it. You're the only one that can deliver. Step into that room, that car. Move in the midst of that woman, that man. Touch and heal and deliver. Father, if it's salvation, I pray that you would bless them even now with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Fill them, Lord. Hallelujah. Save, heal, and deliver, we ask in the name of Jesus. Whatever the need is, we know that you're able to supply. We count it done and we praise you for it now right where you are. Put those hands together, won't you, and give Jesus some praise. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Come on and praise him. It's all right. Praise him right where you are. He shandabas. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We're getting ready to go. But I want to thank you for connecting with us on today. Here at Greater Refuge Temple. In our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. For joining us along with our sister church in the Bronx, New York, Refuge Temple Annex. All of you. Many of you have been connecting with us all over this country, different parts of the world. And I want to tell you that I appreciate you faithfully connecting with this ministry week by week. And we want to thank you for the seeds that you have been planting. It's because of those seeds, because of your giving, because of your faithful giving to us that we're able to continue this ministry. I'm going to ask yet that you would plant another seed on today, whatever the Lord leads you to give. Father, we're getting ready to make sacrifice and plant seed in this vineyard. We thank you for this ministry and I thank you even now for those who have been faithfully connecting with us week by week. We're getting ready to plant seed. We know that there's more work to do, more souls to reach. And we want to do our part that this ministry will continue and continue strong. Receive these seeds, Lord. Bring forth heart the lives of the giver. In Jesus' name. With me in Jesus' name. Our technician will put the information on the screen showing you how to plant this seed. Yes. And if you want to make a comment as you give, type in this is my seed offering. The deacons will know what to do with it. We are pushing forward in ministry, asking God to bring the vision into fruition, blessing souls in the community and around this world, and it's coming together. God answers prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you is my prayer. And I pray that you will join us on next week. If it's God's will, we'll come together and worship yet again. But until then, there are three things that I want you to do. I want you to be careful, be prayerful, and be holy. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Pastor Fields here. I want to thank you for joining us today in our virtual sanctuary, worshiping with us today. I realize that you could have gone to someone else's church, worship with another congregation, but I believe God had you with us today, connected with Greater Refuge Temple of Washington, D.C. And we're honored to have you, honored to worship with you. I want you to stay connected with us. Please do. 
our technician will put that on the screen, how you can continue to connect with this ministry as we continue to connect with the will of our Father. We love you. We appreciate the time that you spent with us today. And it is my prayer that God spoke to your spirit and blessed your very life. God bless you till we meet again. Shalom, shalom.